I won't bore you with all the crap and I'll just jump straight into the topic. Because I'm broke. Because I'm a student. Because I'm broke. Okay, basically you know those big bike component brands like Shimano, SRAM, Campagnolo and Box. They're reputable, proven, quality brands that produce quality products. So why on earth would you buy some random Chinese weird brand like Sensa? Well, in this video, I'll explain why. Number 1. Price For this video, I'll be mostly going through road components as that's where I specialize in. Now the Sensa Empire 11 speed group set or partial group set for fair comparison comes in at 110 US dollars on AliExpress. Now Sensa Empire weighs 740 grams for the shifters and derailleurs. Now let's check out Shimano 105. 260 US dollars on AliExpress. 805 grams. Now from what I've heard, the shifting on the Sensa Empire is as good as Shimano 105. So in that case, here are their stats side by side. Now for the fun of it, let's throw in the Sensor Empire and Shimano 105 equivalent, SRAM Rival. Now this isn't really the most fair comparison as SRAM isn't very popular on AliExpress, but after some searching, these were the cheaper shifters and derailers that I could find. 271 US dollars. So quite impressive. I expected SRAM to be way more expensive than Shimano, but I guess not. So let's check out the weight, 619 grams. So if anything, SRAM is actually beating not only Shimano, but also Sensa, which is interesting as it brings in the question, which gives you more bang for your buck? Or in other words, what are their dollar per gram comparisons? Taking Sensa's 110 US dollars and 740 grams, we get a dollar per gram of 15 cents. And for SRAM Rival, at 271 US dollars and 619 grams, we get a dollar per gram of 44 cents. So what does that mean? It means that Sensor Empire is three times more worth than SRAM Rival from a dollar per gram perspective. What do those stats mean in the real world? Absolutely nothing. You see, it's not all sunshine and rainbows when it comes to Sensor Empire. On paper, yes. They are the best compared to Shimano 105 and SRAM Rival. But what are you truly paying for when you spend that extra money to jump from Sensa to Shimano or SRAM? Well, for starters, you get much better build quality. I've tried out Shimano 105 shifters and compared to my Sensa ones, they just feel so much better. There's also assurance that they won't break. Look at Sensa. Numerous people have had their left shifter break due to a combination of a stiff front derailleur and a poorly designed shifting mechanism. Meanwhile, look at Shimano and SRAM. They both nearly have a clean track record when it comes to failure, so in that case, the extra money you pay for Shimano and SRAM are for higher quality products and assurance in the brand. But what if I told you, this was false. Recently, there have been a number of Shimano cranks failing. Ultegra, and even their trademark, Jura Ace. The quoted group set of the people, Shimano 105, isn't immune to problems too. Thanks to the Instagram account, Thanks Shimano, and many others, we can see that all the models of Shimano 105 have problems with their cables spraying inside the shifter. SRAM isn't immune too. In 2013, they issued a recall of both their hydraulic disc and rim brakes due to the master cylinder seals failing to hold pressure, resulting in abrupt losses of braking power in sub-zero temperatures. So, do you really get a premium? And that's all for today's video. If you want to check out the video where I talked about why my Sensor Empire shifter failed after 30 kilometers, click here. And feel free to comment below where you think I can improve in my videos, be it my style, voice, or editing. And if you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button just like how Canyon Arrow and the bar smash. And hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Good night everybody.